Hey guys, in this video I will be taking a look at the Raspberry Pi. Um, I have got it here inside a bit of a cheap case. Um, I bought the Raspberry Pi itself for about forty dollars, forty Australian dollars. It just came in a you know pretty basic box. All you get really is the um, you know the actual chip itself. There aren't really many bells and whistles. So it's still very good, you know, value for money, 40 bucks, and I bought the um, clear case for $10 on eBay. Um, so let's just take a quick look at the device. On the front here we have an Ethernet port and two USB 2.0 ports. On the side here we have, you know, a bit, a bit of an earphone jack you can plug in external speakers. Um, I've forgotten what that input's called. Um, on this side um, you basically insert the micro SD card there. I'm not sure whether or not you can see it, it takes a um, standard micro SD, not a micro um, SD card. And there is the micro USB charging port. So you can basically power this um, device using any micro USB charger. You know, most um, mobile phones take micro USB chargers these days. And on this side we have the HDMI out. So all up, this was roughly $50, I quite like the case. You know, pretty. it's a pretty good case for $10 and it opens up too, so I'm quite happy with that. I might put a link to this case in the description below. Um, I bought this case from a company called Geekru. Yeah, it's called Geekru. I believe it's an Australian company, though there were heaps of, you know, cases on eBay that you can buy. Um, so that's basically the, um, the device and I'm going to show it to you in operation. So I have got a 32 gig um, SD card here, or it's actually a micro SD card inside of an SD card adapter. And um, this is basically um, the operating system, the actual Raspberry Pi operating system is on here. So I'm just going to insert that in and it does stick out a little bit. The next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to plug in the keyboard and mouse. You know, I've got a bit of a cheap keyboard and mouse here which I can plug in. So I'll just plug in the mouse and the keyboard. And I have also got an Ethernet cable which I'm going to plug in to the front here. Um, you can also get sort of, you know, wireless adapters and plug them in there. You don't have to use an Ethernet cable. Um, I've got my HDMI cable here which I'm going to plug in. And last though not least, I have a micro USB charger. Um, I can't stretch it too far, so I'm just going to plug it in now. And I have got the device connected to this monitor here. You can probably see it booting up. You have the Raspberry Pi logo there. It is just going through all of these system checks, checking that everything is okay before it boots into the actual graphical user interface. So you might ask why you would want to get a device like this. For example, you might want to um, you know, stream TV shows or access YouTube, etc. on your um, TV. Um, and, you know, this would obviously be a cheaper option than even getting an Apple TV or a boxy box. You know, this is a cheaper option than any, any of the um, solutions out there, really. And another good thing about this box is that you can pretty much change the operating system whenever you want with ease. So you could have one SD card with the Raspberry Pi operating system. You could have another one with the XMBC um, you know, media center um, operating system installed, etc. The options are endless, really. So this is the graphical user interface. We have the big Raspberry icon in the middle there. Um, I believe that it is based on Debian, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, it doesn't have too many programs installed on it out of the box. I'm not quite sure how much um, space it is using on the actual um, um, micro, oh, sorry, SD card. So, yeah, it's got some very basic programs, like it's got Midori, which is um, the web browser. And it's got a few different, um, you know, programming applications. Um, you know, a couple of web browsers. Yeah, it doesn't really have that much at all. So it's a bit of a bare-bone operating system, really. <clears throat> 
and it is not um, <clears throat> it's not super fast. Though you can't really expect you know a forty dollar computer to be you know super fast really. So if we just give it a second to load, I can just go to Google. Click enter. And as you as you can see you basically have a bit of a mini computer for just 40, 50 bucks and you probably have everything else that you need lying around the house or most people do. Um, I'm I'm interested in um, installing the XMBC um, software um, on an SD card and using it with the device. I'm probably going to release another video within the next couple of days I'm showing you that. So yeah, in this video I just wanted to quickly show you the device, you know, it's quite amazing, you know, how it works, it's just a little chip with all of the bare essentials on it. So, you know, it's a very cheap device, um, you know, if you have some spare cash and you want to get one to, you know, play around, and I high, highly recommend doing so. Um, yeah, though, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask me. I will put the um, link to where I purchased it from, as well as, you know, where I got the case from in the description below. Though you might be able to get them cheaper locally. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, and thanks for watching.